This is the truth. A series in which I play through games to find out what they're really like for a severely average gamer. And today, we found ourselves walking down the dark path that is games under four pound on Steam. We dodged all of the hentai puzzle games and we were presented with an opportunity to find out what it's like being one of the most despised creatures on the planet from the human perspective. Because today, we find out the truth of Cockroach Simulator. The first thing you'll come to realize with Cockroach Simulator is that it's an online only game, which is fine, but there's only seven players online. And I think it's like eight people in a match, or it can be. It's difficult to find a match, and usually when you do, uh, it appears to always be against Russian people. So I don't know if this was big in Russia, or bigger in Russia. The best match I could find was a straight 1v1 human versus cockroach, so I took it. You either fight on the human side, trying to squash the cockroach as many times as you can, or you fight on the cockroach side, trying to eat as many bits of food off the floor as you can. You can pick up objects and throw them, or just jab with them. You can combine the cooker with deodorant and set it on fire and get a little flamethrower action going. And that's about all of the variety of game mechanics that this offers. If you're the cockroach, you can run up the walls, jump around, you can even eat enough food to turn yourself into a little flying cockroach. It's an online PvP cockroach versus human. But the thing that drew me here was that on Steam this has positive reviews. So I decided to delve in and take a look at some of those reviews to see what people were seeing in this game that I wasn't seeing. Okay, Dunlop Gamer saying better than PUBG. Can't disagree with you there. Gubbler. This is a reviewer we can trust. Cons, the game rewards player for killing helpless cockroaches. Right. Cockroaches just want food and are punished for it. Alright. Get out. Get off the cockroach. The flying mechanic is unrealistic to how roaches actually fly. Uh, roaches run slower in the game than in real life. I would say they run 1.5 to 2 miles an hour in this game. If the room proportions of the room are correct, the average can run about three miles per hour, actually. So, ah? I didn't understand that they had to slow down the roaches to make the game balanced, but it makes the game a lot less immersive. The cockroaches are overpowered. It's quite challenging to win as the humans. Yeah, it's the speed of the cockroaches that makes this game not be that immersive. In summary, if you do find your way into a match on Cockroach Simulator, which can take quite some time, and the most likely type of game that will be will be one cockroach versus one human, which doesn't seem like a fair balance, but it's not balanced in any way anyway, so it doesn't matter. The official loot box ranking of goodness for this game is... 0.5 loot boxes. Currently the lowest rated game we have with a loot box ranking of goodness. Oh goodness. <laughs> the lack of a player base, the bugs, the fact that this game should probably have just been called Upskirt Simulator for horny Russian teenagers. It's 0.5 loot boxes. It's not great, is it? Really? Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe.